Hey guys, I'm welcome to another episode of our African Academy series. This is episode number 12. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the last episode, make sure you go and watch it. The link is in the description. But this episode, we've got Bottom Place, Gillingham. Then we've got Chesterfield. And then Crawley Town. So that's the probably the biggest game of the episode. All in the span of six days. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six days, three games. And it's going to be tough for us, but uh, we're going to have to try and pull out our fingers from our bum holes after the last uh, last three results, I think. Even though we won in the last three games, we drew, uh, we lost two home games, which shouldn't really happen that much. But uh, we got last place Gillingham. Let's see how, well, let's have a look at their record. Two wins out of 22 games. That's not good at all. So we should beat these. Uh, got Crawley who was sitting third, only a point behind us. And then who's the last team? I think it's Chesterfield. They're seventh. So two tough games to end off the episode. Uh, so we're on Boxing Day now. And uh, approaching the January transfer window. And we've got some players transfer listed or transfer shortlisted, sorry. Uh, for some players to buy. Hopefully we can get in Samuel Eto's region. That would be good. And then the fullbacks as well. I'll show you quickly. On the chance of her, we've got uh, this guy. He's just another guy to sign, I guess. Bahambula. Uh, we want these two centre backs. That is uh, Eto's regen. Uh, we want Gazel, the right back. Tech Petty and Codger as well, and Coyote as well. So um, hopefully, we can sign those players in the transfer window. But uh, I want to get these games out of the way first before we can start doing that. So let's go into the game against Gillingham. So here we are, first game of the episode. We're at Priestfield Stadium. And uh, bottom place Gillingham. Hoping to get a win at home. I'm surprised the stadium's full. Um, but yeah, three points hopefully on the cards. We'll have to see. First against bottom. Diaby, ball in. Julius Lauer with a volley. Good save from Arnold. Second minute in already. Gillingham on the attack. It's quite promising as well. It's Gillingham. Oh no. And Gillingham take the lead. What a surprise lead here. Last place Gillingham. Taking the lead against first place the Oval Town. And the defence has crumbled. And it's Tom Eaves with the goal. And uh, his man bun. It's helped him out a little bit. It's 1 0. Dear Carver into Manwepper. Trying to whip in a ball. Oh, Lowell heads it the wrong way, you absolute muppet. A chance now for Julian to extend their lead. Oh, got a save from Tiesi. Oh, that's another chance for Gillingham, oh, no. and it's 2 0 to Gillingham. Come on, lads. Seriously? This is ridiculous. Just can't tackle them. How are they bottom of the league if they're playing like this? There's a half time whistle. Man Wepper. Come on, Man Wepper. Yes, Man Wepper. Get in. Come on. We're back in it. This is what we need. It's a good attack and play from Ahmed Hamed. He ran most of the pitch. Giving it to Man Wepper. Good finish by the youngster. It's 2 1 now. Oh, it's Dear Carver. What am I doing? Why am I trying to... Oh, I'm done. I'm... Oh, I don't know what to do anymore. Diaby. Out to O'Kara. That's a good ball in. Julius Lowell! 
Get in! It's been so long since he scored. Julius Lowell gets us level now with Gillingham. And we shouldn't be losing against bottom of the table. It's a good play. Overlapping run from Okara. Good ball in for Julius Lowell. And it's headed in. And it's 2 all now. Chance for joining him again. It's Hessen Thaler. He's hit the post. And it's been cleared. Oh, they've given it away here. Julius Lowell. Into Diakaba. Oh, and it's saved by Arnold. And there's a full time whistle, it's a two all draw against Gillingham. And to be honest with you, we shouldn't have shouldn't have dropped points there. That should have been a clear cut win for us. So here we are for our second game of the episode. We're at Hewish Park. Uh this time not under the lights, this time in the light of day. Um but this game we have to play our second team because the games are so close together. Our first team are really tired, but I've changed formation and swap the team around a little bit from our uh, our second team previously. We used to be in a 4-4-2 diamond, now we're in a 4-2-4 formation. And uh, we've sorted the team out. I'll probably pause the game as we go into it, just to show you what the team's like. Uh, but after that draw against Gillingham, we've dropped down to third now. Crawley and Coventry have overtaken us. So um, maybe the mid-season blues are kicking in now, and we're starting to drop off a little bit. Um, we'll have to see how that goes. We've still got half season to play. But, um, yeah, it's Crawley. No, no it's not. It's one man about. It's Chesterfield against uh, Yeovil Town. Good save from Camper there. Wasn't expecting the shot just yet. Salaru finds Kanate. Anyone in the box? Oh, Salabu, oh, Sangari. Oh, my God, that was so close. That could have been a great goal. Spat it. Into a Chibi. Oh, and it's gone wide. Salabu into Sangari. He's going to fake it. Oh, Sangari didn't shoot, you stupid idiot. Sangari. Into a Chebi. Sangari's overlapping. Can he whip in a ball for Salawu? And it's a diving header from Ruben Salawu. We take the lead on the stroke of half time. And to be fair, for Sangari, that was a good ball in. That was a brilliant cross. Perfect for Salawu to get his head on it before the keeper could try and save it. And it's 1 0 to Yeovil Town. Ruben Salawu. Hints maybe for Salawu? I don't know. But it's 1 0 here at Hewish Park. There's a half time whistle. 1 0 at the break. Oh, it's a chance for Chesterfield, oh, no. and they've got back in it straight in the second half. I'm not sure who scored it. Brewster. It didn't take long. Our, our lead didn't last that long either. Good play from Albacia to Conarte. Oh, that was close. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I, oh, he's got, a, <laughs> he's got a skull cap on. I didn't know he had a skull cap on the whole time. Albacia into Canate. He's found Sangari. And it's a Chibi. 82nd minute, his first goal on his debut as well. Unselfish there from Sangari. And it's, I don't know his first name, but a Chibi, the guy with a skull cap. He gets himself a goal. What's his first name? Obi. Obi a Chibi. And it's 2 1 now. Hopefully, now we can win this. There's a full time whistle. And after the last two home game losses, we get a win here. 
And uh, I want to thank Achebe uh, for getting the goal. I actually subbed him off as soon as he scored because I I've made the substitution beforehand. But uh, it's a 2-1 victory here against Chesterfield. And it's three points for us. Our final game of the episode is away at Broadfield Stadium against Crawley Town. Who, uh, who dropped points last game. They drew their game, which means we're back on top now. So did Coventry as well. So it's going to be a tough game. Uh, only one point separates us. They've got the best defence in the league. We've got the best attack in the league. So uh, we'll have to see who prevails here. It's Crawley Town against Yeovil Town. Dukaba into Lowell. He's found Diaby. Arsene Diaby's through and his shot straight at the keeper. The defender then was just... He was like Sonic. He just sprinted straight after us. And it's a good save from the keeper. My might be doing well to skip past one. Finds Diakaba. Shot's been blocked. Lowell on the rebound. And the keeper picks it up. Good pressure by Okara. Lowell into Dirk Harbour. Back to Lowell. Oh, the shot's been blocked. Chance for Crawley Town. Oh, it's a penalty to Crawley Town. Joshua Kingdom fouling the play. He's not going to get a card for it. I'm guessing he's stuck a leg out to try and stop the cross coming in. And the player's fallen over from it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I don't know. He felt like a ragdoll. But it's, uh, it's a penalty for Corley Town. It's for height to take it. I'm not sure what that... What the fuck's that run-up? Oh, no. What the hell was that run-up? Ah, Corley Town will take the lead. I don't know what that run-up was. I want to see that again. Look at him. the hell? That's the weirdest penalty I've ever seen in my life. Musa Addo now on the overlap. Hamid. Dirk Harbour. Into Julius Lowell. Have some of that. Crawley. That's what you call a goal. Julius Lowell straight back in it. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we're back in it really. Julius Lowell, is she straight off kickoff? Good finish by the youngster. I think that might be in the 17th goal of the season, something like that. Not too sure, I'll have to have a look. I'm correct. 17th goal of the season for Julius Lowell. Corner of Crawley Town, it's going to be Diallo to take it. Ball in at the near post. And it's gone out. But it's a uh, half time here at, I can't remember the name of the stadium, Broadfields or something like that. And it's one all. Finding Ahmed Hamid. Julius Lowell. Oh, he might have been offside. But good save from the keeper. Diakaba. To Diaby. Ball in. Julius Lowell with the header and is saved again. Can he get the rebound? Oh, it's just gone wide. That's a through ball. Roberts could save from TSE. Oh, and it's off the line from Dosu. Oh, Dosu. Oh, well done. Well done, Kingsley Dosu. You fucking legend. Steer Carver. Into Kanate. Back to Steer Carver. Can he find Diaby? Oh, he's saved again. How has it not gone in? Kanate. Finds Lowell. Julius Lowell. Yes! The other Julius Lowell scores. And that might be the winner. It might just be the winner. And Julius Lowell sets up Julius Lowell. It sounds weird, but it's true. Fake shot. Passes it across. And it's a good finish. And we lead now at Broadfield Stadium. It's been a close game either side. And hopefully now we've taken the three points.
Ball in the box. Oh no. Oh my god, they've actually scored. They've scored a goal. And this equaliser again. I actually thought we've got that. Ball's over the top down the line. Crossed in. And headed at the back post by Roberts. And he's beaten Addo in the air there. It's a good header. And we thought we won the game. We're going to have to try again in the next five minutes to try and get another goal. But it's 2 all now. And there's a full time whistle. It's a 2 all draw against Crawley Town. Very tough game. And neither team can beat them. Last time we played them, it was Albie Drew. So, unable to defeat Crawley Town. But we didn't lose against them. It's finished 2 all. So, at the end of that game, we still sit top of the table with Coventry losing their game against uh, Cheltenham and our draw against Crawley Town. So, the gap now is still a point, And then we're two points clear of Coventry and four points clear of Bristol Rovers, who are surprisingly f still fighting up there. I can't remember... Bristol Rovers being anywhere near the top six or anything, but they're definitely there now. But uh, if you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.